What's the channel? Chin Chow, Slanter and Joe here. Welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Ash Grey Nuzlocke. In the last episode, we made it right here to the gate of the Pokemon League. We also went through uh, the Lost City of Pokenopolis again and actually did uh, finished off the event there. We also uh, and we uh, learnt about the fact that Team Rocket stolen some badges from a trainer and their Marowak. And the Marowak wouldn't listen to him anymore. So I rescued the Marowak and got the badges back. Because I'm a nice guy like that. And today, we're going to the Pokemon League. It's going to be absolutely awesome. I can't wait for that. We're going to... I think we carry the Pokemon League torch and stuff like that. So, it should be rather fun. Hello. You've acquired all eight gym badges that you needed to enter the Pokemon League. You may now advance into the Indigo Plateau. Yay! Hey, here he is. He's finally here. I see him. Here he comes. Maybe the, all these people are here to cheer me on. No, they're actually here to cheer this guy on. Me? Um, I'm the official torchbearer of the Pokemon League. This flame is said to be from the legendary Pokemon Moltres. Lightning uh, hit the main torch. Uh, lighting, the hu lighting the huge torch is an honor. Uh, it's a huge honor. Lighting the main torch is a huge honor. There we go. That's that bit. Huh? No, you can't carry the torch. Only the official torch bearer is allowed to carry the torch. Well, I say let's bend the rules uh, once. Give the lad a chance. He might never get this opportunity again, you know. I am President Goodshow. That's a horrible name. Why are you called President Goodshow? <laughs> President of the Pokemon League. This Pokemon League competition is all about spirit. And... It sounds like this young person has a lot of it in droves. In fact, he may have been hoarding that spirit for months. We could use a spirited young man like himself to deliver the, it to the Indigo Stadium. What do you say? Sure, why not? Very well. Um, good show. No pun intended, of course. Just carry the main torch with honor to uh, V. Uh, just carry the main torch and light it to begin the league competition. Ash accepted the torch. I'm running with the torch. I. It feels. It's like I'm in the Olympic. Uh, you know, the Olympic torch bearing ceremony, which is so cool. But like, I would never get to carry the torch in the Olympics. So. This is the best, this is just the closest I'm going to get to it. That is so cool. Brewie! We'll be taking that torch now, little boy. The flame of Moltres begin, uh, belongs to Team Rocket. Well, if you don't want to hand it over, then I guess you'll have, we'll just have to take it from you. Really? We doing, we're doing this again. We're doing this again, ladies and gentlemen. We're doing this again. And I will kick their ass again. Because I'm that goddamn good at kicking their ass. <laughs> Wahoo! He lived! And went boom! And I lived the boom! These are actually really good at living things now. What the hell is that? They could legitimately kill me if they keep on living. Oh, they... He disabled my bubble. He disabled my brick break, so I have to use bubble beam. No one died. It's fine. Someone came very close to dying in party, but... <laughs> That's not going to happen. That flame belongs to us, Twerp. We're not going to let you uh, get the Pokemon League... Uh, get to the Pokemon League until we get our t until you hand it over to Team Rocket. 
Moltres appears from the flames of the torch. Moltres used Aerial Ace and fired uh, Team Rocket away. Hey. Team Rocket's blast... Fired away? Team Rocket's blasting you off again! I'd say Flare Blitz, but Flare Blitz is a fourth share move, so he didn't use that. Moltres is lighting the torch. The main torch was lit by the flames of Moltres. Oh, I wanted to keep the torch. That was so scary. Uh, I really didn't want Hardy to die, but uh, it, was, it could have. It actually could have happened. It actually could have happened that Hardy could have died there. That would have been so bad. No, Hardy is not supposed to die. Not yet, anyway. Not ever. It's hardly supposed to die. Especially since I'm about to go into the Pokemon League and I need Hardy for that. Because otherwise, my only other chance of using someone that is like uh, uh, that can learn Psychic is Hugo, and I don't want to. Uh, maybe Hugo could work actually. I don't know. Here we are at the Pokemon League, though. There we go, Indigo Plateau. Hello. So you want to register for the Pokemon League competition? First, let me check your qualifications. Congratulations! You've collected all eight gym badges required to enter the Pokemon League. So this is your first time entering a Pokemon League? In the Pokemon League, you must battle uh, four different types of... Uh, on four different types of field. Rock, Grass, Water and Ice. If you win in the first four battles, you'll advance the Indigo Stadium. In the first five rounds of the competition, you are only allowed to enter three Pokemon, so choose carefully. Afterwards, each trainer will be allowed to use a full team of six Pokemon. No healing items or any s of any sort are allowed in this competition. As a result, you are required to store all your healing items in the PC before any battle. Your first battle will be on the water field. Your opponent will be Marnie. Uh, Ma Mandy. 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 When you are ready, please speak to the officer at the, water at the gate of the water field. If you need any information, just come and see me. Alright, heal me please, Nurse Joy. Right, I guess I've got to go and find a... Do I, is there a PC? It's a video phone. Would you like to... Sure, I'd like to dial Professor Oak. Hmm, huh. I was just thinking about you, Ash. Now that you've reached the Indigo Plateau, I was thinking that you might want to swap one of your Pokemon. That way, you'll have more variety against Gary. I just traded two of his Pokemon to get ready for his first battle. So what do you think? Which one would you like to recall? Um, I don't know. I really don't know. I was, I was considering bringing, like, I, I mean, but still, no one has actually, uh, uh, still, no one has told me whether I have, uh, if I can actually use my Pokemon. So at this moment in time, I'm still thinking to myself, I'm gonna keep the team I have, Eve, and use them. So apparently, I'm not allowed to use items. So I guess I have to deposit these. So, I will do that. Apparently, I'm not allowed to use items, so I'm going to get rid of all of my items. But, I don't know. I mean, maybe it's... I don't know. The game has never been 
the game's never enforced uh, these things, so I don't know if it's going to enforce them now. So I'm a little scared it is going to enforce them now. I'll keep that. I'm going to keep that rare candy because I'm going to use that before we actually start this. I will deposit that. I guess I'll deposit these two, my star pieces, since I can't use them for money at this moment in time because... Oh. Oh, I have no room to store items anymore. I guess I have... I guess I'll just have to toss these uh, other things that I have. Okay, so this is the water field. You are scheduled to face Mandy here. You ready for the match? You can only use three Pokemon. Okay, please put. Oh, all right, fine. Okay, let's see what we got. Who is my free Pokemon that I should use for this challenge? I think we got us. I think we got to... No, no, we got to you. We're gonna store you. We're gonna store you. And we're going to store a cool tent as well. And we're going to start with these three. James, Snorfall, and Killer. That's my that's my three. That is my three. Oh, I cannot... But I can't because I've... My full. And I guess I have to toss these... I'm not gonna get I'm not getting rid of my max elixirs. I'm gonna put them in the PC. I guess I have to get rid of stuff in my PC to allow me to do this. Um What do I do here then? I guess I'll uh do that. And get rid of my potions as well. And then, we'll, and then we can deposit these elixirs. Now is there any other healing items? In my bag. No. There are no other healing items in my bag. Right. So. Let's toss these. I'm going to toss this and I'm going to toss this as well and then I'm going to use one of my rare candies I'm going to I'm going to put it on Snowfall so there we go I think that is everything I can do to get myself ready for this uh, first round I go oh I, I have ethers I need to st I need to store these immediately. I am not supposed to have ethers. No, no, no. Deposit. There we go. Deposit those. Right. Now can I enter? But I have. But I have done that. What what healing items do I ha not have? What healing items do I not have? I have no healing items. Unless you mean berries. I have to get rid of my berries too. Oh, do I have to get rid of my berries as well? Really? Fine, I will toss my berries. There, I tossed my berries. Now will you let me into battle? No, you still won't let me into battle. What the hell? What am I missing? Seriously, like, what have I not got? Am I not allowed to hold lefties on my Pokemon? No, that can't be it. 
That can't be it. It can't be the fact that you're not allowed to hold lefties. I have no healing items. I have no healing items. Uh, can I... I guess I'm gonna give you... Uh, no, no, not you. Can I just give... Oh. It's this direct hit. That's what it is. It's the direct hit. I had one left. You may proceed. Good luck. Really? It's that? It was the, the direct hit? I had a direct hit and that's what you were... Uh, that's what you were annoyed about? Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Pokemon League first round. But uh, this Pokemon League first round battle is scheduled for one fall. One fall. And it's all set to begin. In the red corner, the Pokemon League's favorite, the outstanding Mandy. And in the green corner, from Pallet Town, Ash. Let the battle begin. This is unfortunate. That was an unfortunate choice of words for this eager trainer who will be little no a little or no match for me. It's showtime. Watch me work my magic. Here we go, Juggler Mandy. Starts with an executor. You start level 40. Okay, and it's raining. Not the best of sit Situations for me. I'm going to switch into Snore 4. I'm going to switch into Snore 4. Barrage. Snore 4 is beefy enough to take Barrage. Yeah, Snore 4 is beefy enough to take Barrage. And we have Ice Punch on this set too, so... This should destroy this guy. There we go. Cedra. Uh, let's let James deal with that. Although uh, Snowfall could deal with it too with uh, Thunderbolt. It is raining. I like how they have weather. I really do. I do like that. To add to the fact that this is the water field, it rains here. I like that. I really do. It's a crit. I will take. I will take that all day. And the final Pokemon is a gold bat. Snowfall, get in there, please. And then deal with this thing with a fun... Uh, deal with this thing with a Thunderbolt. You're level 50. Okay. I don't like the poison fang. Please do not poison me. Oh, you did poison me. Cool. Thank God. I do not be needing to deal with that right now. Okay, that did a lot of damage. I paralyzed him. That's rather nice. That means I might outspeed this turn. Ice punch to end this. And there we go. First round of the Pokemon League. Done. Ash has defeated Mandy and will advance to the next round. Congratulations, Ash. Heal me up, please, Nurse Joy. There we go. We're all nicely healed. Everyone is ready to go. It's time for round two. Hello. Your second round match is against a youngster called Kevin. He's a newcomer just like yourself. But he's known as a steadfast as his steadfast personality with speed. You'll be battling him on the rock field for this round, so keep that in mind. Okie dokie. Can I talk to you? Okay. And finally you. 
Okie dokie, so I need to go to the rock field. Is this the rock field? This is the rock field. Alright. You are scheduled to face Kevin on this field. Are you ready to fight? You may proceed to your battle. Good luck. Oh, there's a sandstorm in play on the rock field. That's going to be annoying to deal with. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for the second round of the Pokemon League. And this match is scheduled for one fall. One fall. And it's all set to begin. In the red corner, we have Pokemon League newcomer Kevin. And in the green corner, we have from Pallet Town, also a newcomer, Ash. Let the battle commence. I'm not going to go easy on you. This battle is mine to lose. Alright, let's do this, Kevin. You start with an electrode. That could be kind of scary. Especially if it wants to go boom. Uh, I live a thunderbolt from you. Yeah, that does nothing to me. EQ! Bye-bye, Electrode! You're not living this! There's no way in hell you could live in an Earthquake. There we go. And a Cubone. Stay in! Stay in! Okay. Sandstorm is kind of annoying. I get buffered by Sandstorm, yet you don't. But that's fine. I still outspeed you. Bye-bye, Cubone. Why do you have a Cubone? Oh, you d you lived! Okie dokie, the Cubone is beefy. And has a shell bell. The Cubone is beefy, apparently. That's fine, though. Uh, another Race Leaf definitely will kill this turn. That's for sure. I didn't realize how beefy Cubone was. And I'm in a need arena. Uh, let's go to Snorfor. And use Earthquake on this thing. Okay, need arena is level 58. Oh my god, you're the same level as me. That scares the that scares me. EQ. Take down. I'm beefy enough to take one of those. Yeah. Very much beefy enough. EQ. Bye bye. This should be the end of this need arena. There's no way in hell he's living this. Nice. Ash has defeated Kevin and will advance to the next round. Congratulations, Ash. Okie dokie. So, there we go. Heal me up, please, Nurse Joy. And let's do this again. Third round. Your next preliminary match is against Pete Pubbleman from Pewter City. Pete has power and precision. This third round match will take place on the ice field. Please use the appropriate... Uh, please talk to the appropriate league officer when you're ready to begin. Alrighty then. Is this the ice field? This is the ice field. All right, let's do this. You are scheduled to face Pete on this field. Would you like to t take part in the battle? Yes, I would. You may proceed. Good luck. All right, here we go. It's probably going to hail here, isn't it? Ladies and gentlemen, this third round match is scheduled for one fall, and it's ready to begin. In the red corner, Pete put a... Puddleman from Pewter City! And uh, in the green corner is the up-and-coming sensation, Ash! Let the battle begin! I've worked too hard to lose now. No mercy! Alright, let's do this, Pete! You have a Graveler! James! Razor Leaf this thing! Destroy it with your leaf power. Nice. Let me have a cloister. 
Ooh, I don't actually... Um, let's use Snowfall and Thunderbolt this thing. Yeah, let's use Snowfall. Uh, let's use Snowfall and Thunderbolt this thing. Level 60! Okie dokie, this is getting interesting now. I think I might need to grind before the next episode if I'm allowed to leave. I don't know if I actually I'm allowed to leave, but we'll see. And Arcanine is your final Pokemon killer. It's your first time actually being used in the Pokemon League. It is time. And let's this thing as Thunder... F Level 62! Oh dear. Dragon Rage! Okay! Really? This late into the game, you want to learn dra You want to use Dragon Rage? I didn't realize Arcanine could use... Wait, Arcanine can't use Dragon Rage? Yeah, Arcanine can't use Dragon Rage? Oh, I need to live another attack. I live, I live, I live, I live. Bubble Beam will kill here. There we go. I wish I had Surf, but Surf would have one-shot him. But I had Bubble Beam, and Bubble Beam only does like 65 damage every time, so it's a free hit KO, and it's, this is the most dangerous water type move I learn outside of things like I guess I could have I guess I could have had Hydro Pump maybe, but uh Hydro Pump lacks any accuracy I need. I need something that's more I need something more accurate. So bubble beam it is. As much as I don't like it, bubble beam it is. My dreams have been shattered. Ash is the beat of Pete and will advance to the next round. Congratulations, Ash. I can't believe I lost. That trainer was lucky and I got distracted by my girls uh, in the stands cheering for me. My fans are disappointed, but I'll get it, but they'll get over it. This won't stop me from becoming the Pokemon League Master. Maybe you should just quit now whilst you're ahead. If I couldn't do it, there's no way a loser like you can. Later, Ash. Oh, I think I'm doing pretty well. We got one more first round match, so uh, let's go and take part in our... Uh, let's go and take part in that. Your fourth round match is against a young woman named Janine Fisher. She is known f uh, for her eloquence and unorthodox battle style. She'll take you on in the grass field, so please prepare for those conditions. Okie dokie. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. This is the grass field. Let's do it. You are scheduled to face Janine... Uh, uh, Janet here. Janine? Janine. Yeah. You're special you're scheduled to face Janine here on this field. Would you like to begin? Yes I would. Let's do it, the fourth and final opening round match. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for your fourth round matchup of the Pokemon League competition. This match is scheduled for one four, and it's about to begin. In the red corner. We have Janine Fisher from Crimson City. And in the green corner, from Pallet Town, Ash. I am honored to, bat to do battle with you. Uh, but I don't, but don't take me lightly. Okie dokie, let's do this. Let's do this. This is the final fight of this first round. So this will be the final fight of today's episode. You start with a B drill. Level 60! Uh, I'm gonna EQ you. That might have been dangerous, but I'm pretty sure Beedrill's not living in- Oh my god, Beedrill lived an earthquake. I live that. 
really easily, and this should kill. Nice. Good work, James. Okay, and a Cypher. Okay, that's a scary Pokemon. Snorfall, come on out here, please. You can Ice Punch this thing, and that should... Oh my god, it's level 65. Oh my god, it's level 65, and it's double teaming. That's kind of scary. But of course, Snorfall is, uh, is an ace to that. Oh my god, that did nothing. Really? Are we really doing this? Are you really doing this? Snowfall, thank you. Thank you, my boy. You are amazing. I got a crit. I will take since you were a double teaming in person. You were double teaming. I will take that. And your final Pokemon's a Bellsprout. Level 70 Bellsprout! What the hell have you been feeding this thing? Also, why is it still a Bellsprout? What the hell? It's a level 70 Bellsprout! Okay, I'm fine. And you're dead. There we go. Nice! We beat Janine. It's a difficult loss, but I am proud of how my Pokemon battled. Ash has defeated Janine and will advance to the next round. Congratulations, Ash! Oh, excuse me. My Hi, my name is Richie. Nice to meet you. Sorry I bumped into you, but I was just excited uh, uh, from having won my fourth round match. I got a little carried away uh, when it came to my Pokemon. Uh, you, t you too, huh? I guess uh, we're just a couple of uh, Pokemaniacs then. We're competing... Uh, we you're competing in the Pokemon League too, huh? Isn't that exciting? I really want to become a great trainer. Attention, please. This is an emergency announcement for all uh, participants of the Pokemon League. All trainers must bring their Pokemon to the front gates of the Pokemon League immediately for inspection. Immediately. Any Pokemon that fails to deliver their Pokemon within a timely manner will be disqualified from the competition. Thank you and have a nice day. I guess we better hurry to the Pokemon League main uh, entrance then. Uh, to get our Pokemon inspected. It was nice seeing you, Ash. See you later. That sounds a bit far-fetched, doesn't it? It sounds like you're trying to scam me. And if you want to scam Lantern Joe, you're going to get destroyed by Lantern Joe. So I'm allowed to use my full six, t uh, my full team of six again now. So you know. Let's get them back out there, please. Yeah, let's get them back out there. Who is my... There he is. There's Taro. Let's do this. Let's go and see what this is all about. Hey, Ash. These uh, people uh, from these people from the Pokemon League were just taking a look at our Pokemon to get them inspected. What? These people are actually members of Team Rocket. They have to be stopped. W I'll take care of these crooks. Go Zippy! Zip Go Zippo! Go Sparky! Take care of Team Rocket. Zippy! Zippo, use Flamethrower. Sparky, use Thunderbolt. Looks like Team Rock is blasting off again. Well, that takes care of Team Rocket. It's a good thing you were here. It's a good thing uh, you were here. If uh, you hadn't shown up, they would have taken all my Pokemon. And I would have given all my Pokemon to these thieves. Thanks for saving me. I'm sure we'll be seeing each other... Uh, Again, 
But I need to go and find out who my next opponent is for the fifth round. See you later, Ash. Your next match is the fifth and final preliminary match. It'll take... Uh, the battle will take place in the Indigo Stadium. And your opponent will be a young trainer named Richie. I believe you may have already met him. His battle style is mostly standard, but his Pokemon tend to be uh, uh, tend to have battled far beyond their bonds, which means uh, it, he shares them with him, them. Good luck with your final battle. Okie dokie. So I'm gonna end off today's episode here. If you enjoyed, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I'm gonna go and do some grinding. Uh, for this fifth and final match and see what I, uh, I'm getting myself into for the Pokemon League because this is where Ash lost and I vow to not do that. I vow to not lose because I am that kind of guy. So I want to be ready for this. So if you enjoyed today's episode, please leave a like, comment and subscribe. But until next time, I am Lantern Joe. Me to the Pokemon, get to Lazar. Everybody get Pokemon. Good night! Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. And of course, you can ring the bell and you'll be notified first when those videos come out. You can follow me on Twitter, at Lantern Joe, where you'll get news, thoughts, and opinions from me, Joe, and the rest of the Lantern Nation. And of course, if you're a fan of this sort of thing, then you might like Power Zone Metal, a radio show presented by me and my brother Dan, aka the Gentleman of Metal. You can find out more information about that on powerzonemetal.uk. And of course, if you want to watch more videos, you can watch them by clicking in the top right and top left hand corner of this here end card. And of course, until next time, from me, Joe, and from the rest of the Lantern Nation, we'll see you again.